Hey, how you doing? What do you got here? Man, I've got a Jimmy Jet flight simulator toy. That's pretty cool. For a planet, I saved the world about 10 or 12 times flying this thing myself. <laughs> so I'm sure somebody else can get some joy out of it as well. Well, you must have a pretty good imagination, because if I remember, uh, this thing doesn't do much. <laughs> oh, it does everything. Go ahead. What I brought in today is my Jimmy Jet Deluxe Flight Simulator. I got this flight simulator from my grandparents' garage. I'm looking to sell the Jimmy Jet Flight Simulator for $400. If I can make a deal, I put that money to a real flight simulator and go save the day. All right, yeah, this is pretty cool. Uh, so, Deluxe Reading Company, they were just a toy manufacturer in the 1960s. They made toys for the grocery store, and you could get them also in a few catalogs. This company kind of pushed that movement in bringing toys into the grocery store. OK. Selling toys at supermarkets is a great idea, and it must have worked, because today, even big companies like Toys R Us have products on grocery store shelves. Food and toys all at one place, it's like the best of both worlds. But this is pretty cool, just overall. It's got the shape of a car. Sure. You can see, like, the tail lights here. Mm -hmm. It's almost got this hood ornament up here, which is pretty cool. And, and, and it looks pretty high tech. I mean, you got an altitude meter, climb meter, RPM meter, Mach 2, airspeed. OK, let me check it out. Right there, there's your controllers. So let's see, all right. So that turns it on. Absolutely. You got to hold that up. There's your throttle control right there. And then you just steer it, right? Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Do that. Now. Now I'm remembering why toys were so much better when I was a kid. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Less imagination and a whole lot less technology. So um, how much are you looking to get for it? Uh, I've looked it up. Brand new mint condition. OK. $400, sir. OK. I think we're agreeing that it's not in mint condition. <laughs> Fair enough. Just try $150. We can try to get $150, but not here. As popular as they were, it does have some cosmetic issues to it. So I'd like to give you 20 bucks for it. 20 bucks, that's extremely low. Uh, let's try 75. Uh, 35 bucks, man. It could sit in here for a year. It could sit in here for three weeks. I really don't know. You can take it home for yourself. That's kind of what I'm feeling here. Oh, I don't know if I should go any higher on it. It's just so cool. I'll give you 45 bucks for it. I can't do a penny more. Yeah, man. Let's do it. 45 right. dollars. It's a deal. I'm good with that. All right, meet me right here at the front. All right, let's go. 45 dollars seems like a fair price. I fulfilled my need for speed. It's time to pass it on to the next generation. Let somebody else go save the day.